close this is RD tag. Before we upload a video said that our RD1606 has new firmware, you can use the PC software to update the firmware so that you can use the new function. Besides the display style, we also optimize the battery charging function. Uh, here is the updated detail. And add a cutoff current and a cutoff temperature for battery charging. There is a temperature sensor coming with the RT6006. You can use it to detect the temperature. For old firmware, you can only see the temperature here. But it has no other function. Uh, now you can go to the setting page to set a set the cutoff current and the cutoff temperature. When the charging current reaches to this value, or the battery temperature is over than this value the charging process will be in. Now you can see we set the cutoff current to uh, 10 milliampere and the cutoff temperature is 60 degrees. Okay, now we return. And uh, for the battery charging, it is still same. First, you need to set the correct uh, charging voltage and current by yourself. Uh, according to the battery type and uh, battery capacity. For example, I have a leasing battery. You can see its data, uh, its leasing battery and uh, its uh, capacity. So I set 4.2 volt for this leasing battery and uh, we needed to use the green terminal as positive. You can see here it is for battery charging. Uh, connect the battery. You can see when the battery is connected. No, no it is not connected. You can see when the battery is connected, uh, it will show in red. Okay. You can see when I turn it on, it starts to charging. Here is the uh, charging mode, and uh, here is the uh, uh, status. For now, it is normal, and this icon shows that the battery is charging. Okay. Uh, you may ask. Uh, uh, one question, just like what other uh, other customers often asked, why is the charging voltage and current uh, is different from what I said? For example, I set a 4.2 volt. Why it is not 4.2 volt? Uh, for traditional battery charging method, there are constant current charging, uh, constant voltage charging and uh, constant current, constant voltage charging, so three types. Uh, uh, we can say that one by one. Uh, for the first one, constant current charging, it is a simple method that uses a small constant current to charge the battery during the whole charging process. Uh, constant current charging stops when a predefined value is reached. Uh, this charging uh, method is widely used for charging a 9CD or 9MH battery, as well as a leasing battery. Uh, the charging current rate is the most important factor, and it can significantly influence the battery's behavior. Uh, for this reason, the main challenge of constant current charging is setting a suitable charging current. Uh, 
uh, that will satisfy both charging time and a high charging current provides a quick charge but also uh, affect the battery's aging process. A low charging current makes it safer but also um, produce a very low charge which is inconvenient. Another method is constant voltage charging. Uh, the voltage is constant. The charging current decreases as the battery charges. A high current value is required to provide the constant terminal voltage at the uh, stage of the charging process. So the high current uh, stress the battery and uh, can cause the battery damage. Uh, so our power supply adopts uh, constant voltage and constant current charging method. It uses constant current charging uh, in the first charging state. And when the uh, voltage reaches the peak voltage, the charging process uh, shifts to the constant voltage charging. So the constant current constant voltage charging method is more efficient than either the constant current or the constant voltage charging individually. Okay, that's the answer about why we use constant voltage, uh, constant current, constant voltage uh, charging. If you have any questions, just contact us.